I agree with the Census Bureau <laughs> in counting all illegal aliens as American citizens in the 1980 census. After all, they are living here. Professor Labak, I knew you were going to take this position. As a matter of fact, I was certainly perfectly sure that you were going to take this decision, and I was not even interested in making a debate with you. Because, <laughs> Professor Labak, you are worse than an illegal alien. You are a bimbo. A big bimbo. That's what you are. Bimbo schmimbo. <laughs> But in New York City, there are an estimated one and a half million illegal aliens. If they are not counted in the city's population, we will lose billions of dollars in federal aid. If the one and a half million illegal aliens did not live in the city of New York, we would not need the federal aid. I am reminded of the fact that America is a nation of immigrant peoples. Give us your weak, your tired, your poor huddled masses. You forgot, give us your stupid, because that is how your family arrived on the shores of this great country. Give us your stupid, your ignorant, your ignoramuses. But our American culture will only brighten as millions from other varied cultures blend into our melting pot. Melting, schmelting, I say to you. What do we need a melting pot? We have enough culture in this country already. Look at me, I can go out and get the Kanisha pizza, anything I want. Why do I need more culture? Melting, schmelting to you, you bimbo, you blood. That's what you are. You, you, and you liberal fools. You're gonna try to get me upset, but you're not going to blow my stack tonight. Dr. Bendit, I tend to disagree. You babble incessantly on nothing. Just what have you against the illegal aliens? <laughs> Number one, they talk funny! In case they didn't hear it, I said number one, <laughs> they talk funny. Number two, they don't like the Yankees. And number three, they They talk funny. Oh, Dr. Bendit invited you here. Who invited me here? Why, I go way back. What are you talking about who invited me here? As a matter of fact, I had my roots way before Alex Haley even wrote the book. As a matter of fact, Fiddler on the Roof came out in 1962, way before Roots. In closing, I surrender to your stupidity. I cannot confer converse with a baboon. This is Professor Eugene Labak. Professor Labak, wait a minute, I'm over here, Diane. No, yes, oh, that's it. What, you got a liberal camera people now? What, you don't want to put me on, huh? What, you think I should not work here? Get over here, I'll put the whole place down. What do they think? You got liberal people everywhere. Liberal schmibberals, they're taking over the whole country. Oh, we got a nice, we got a nice conservative young man over there who likes me. What do you think this is? You, Professor Labak, stink! I suggest you move to Russia! That's where you belong in Russia! And then you can go to Russia and help build tanks and the Wanda! That's where you belong because you are a sick man! A sick man! You stink! <laughs> this is Dr. Martin Bendit. <laughs>